What's going on guys? I'm Fuller from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. And one of the tires that we see a lot of people ask questions about is this new Kenda Cleaver RT. So the RT from them is gonna be your hybrid between an all-terrain tire and a mud-terrain tire, which I guess isn't really any new news. Uh, most people that have been looking for tires kind of know that. So it bridges the gap, like I said, between the all-terrain and the mud-terrain. It's, it's your hybrid right in the middle where you get kind of the best of both worlds. So you'll see, as far as the tread pattern goes on here, the outer blocks are quite far spaced apart, pretty large blocks, and then the center are a lot closer together. They still have decently large tread voids in here, but basically the center section Section is what keeps the tire a little bit quieter, get better mileage out of it, and then the outside section is what's going to give you that grip off-road. So the reason why these have become so popular, I think, is kind of because of the price point. I believe 33 by 12 and a half, 20, is it's under a thousand bucks. They're like closer to 900 dollars than they are to a thousand. Uh, so you get a pretty good tire for not a whole lot of money when you spend you know 900 bucks for the set of four. So what makes the tire so desirable and so good? And why people like it is, first of all, Kenda has been around for quite a while. My first set of Kendas was on a mountain bike. So Kenda's been making tires for various applications and, and they've been in the rubber industry for quite a while. This tire also has what they call a triple threat sidewall. It's a three ply sidewall. That's just their fancy marketing term for it. But a couple of nice things that they do. The sidewall design, first of all, is a very nice design. It's very blocky, which I like. It reminds me of kind of like a race tire for a Baja truck. I think it looks really cool. They've got cool little details. RT is, is kind of pressed into uh, every other block there. And then they also have a fairly large rim protector. And I say rim intentionally because I mean the actual rim of the wheel. They have a, a little bit of extra rubber put on here. So the bead of this wheel is actually inbound from this section of rubber here quite a bit. It's a lot easier to tell when it's off of there, but you can see that even now that it's mounted on a wheel, the rubber actually sticks out further and goes past the rim of that wheel, which is nice if you are gonna do any sort of off-roading with these. They handle the off-road stuff quite well, again, which is, is why people like this one. More so for like your rocks and, and stuff like that, oh, and sand. Uh, as far as mud goes, we've had him on Brad's truck. He's put you know a couple thousand miles on him. He took him off road a little bit. He did end up getting stuck one time, but we're gonna blame that on Brad's bad driving skills. So as far as mud terrain goes, it's not. It doesn't have as deep of grooves in here that your standard mud terrain would, so you can't expect it to behave quite like a mud terrain. They do have quite a bit of siping on here. You can see that it's primarily straight, cuts across in the kind of this like slightly diagonal pattern here. It's quite large compared to some other siping that I've seen on similar tires. So I don't know if it'll handle quite as good in the snow, but that's what the siping is designed for, is that snow traction. Also deflated, because the sidewall here is so aggressive, these do give you a really nice wide traction path and plenty of traction uh, in an off-road situation. So that's the Kenda Cleaver RT. That's kind of what you need to know about it. It's a very affordable tire. It's new, and a lot of people are loving it, especially for the price that they pay. If you want to find out any more about it, you can check out all the details, load range, sizes, and all that stuff, because it comes anywhere from a C all the way up to an F. Uh, depending on what you want and then they have a lot of OEM replacement sizes the biggest size they go though is going to be that 35 so if you want something larger you're going to take a look at something else but like I said if you want to know more information on it check it out on our website at otherwise the link to this specific tire will be right in the description for you peace